We have a vision, and that is to positively impact the lives of millions of South Africans. These are people that don't have access to reliable or affordable energy. And uh, South Africa is in the midst of an energy crisis, and it needs a solution, and Kinetico believes that it has South Africa's energy solution. That solution is an enormous onshore gas resource and it's situated in a premier energy producing region of South Africa. The resource itself is absolutely world class. The discovery currently stands at 6 trillion cubic feet of contingent resource in a 2C category and I can tell you that's going to get bigger. In addition, there's a prospective resource that we have certified of 5.8 TCF in a 2U category. And very significantly, the company last year successfully obtained its maiden reserve certification. That was 6.4 BCF, but that was assessed over but a very, very small project, one that we've established with the Industrial Development Corporation of South Africa in a joint venture, and that's approximately 20 production wells. To put that into context, that production field would occupy but one five hundredth of the total potential geology that we have there in South Africa with our rights and our granted tenements. And I just want to mention that those, uh, those reserves were certified by the internationally recognised group Sprul. But it's one thing to have a world class asset, but here we are right in a fantastic region just 200 kilometres southeast of Johannesburg. And really importantly, that, that asset is situated, as I said, in the amongst South Africa's existing infrastructure. Many coal mines, many coal-fired power stations, and uh, in particular one here, right on at the edge of our exploration right, 271, is the Majuba Power Station, one of the biggest in South Africa, that is all ready to uh, be co-fired by gas if we can produce it. In addition, South Africa's only gas comes from uh, the Mozambique Basin. It comes down the Romco pipeline up in the north there and into Sasol Secunda refinery. That also is one of the biggest coal to liquids, gas to liquid refineries on the planet and there it is sitting right on the northern boundary of our exploration right 272, yet another customer on our doorstep. We have the Lily Pipeline that then runs down equidistant through our rights um, into the, uh, the industrial city of Newcastle and onto Richards Bay. And there are many transmission lines and existing uh, railways uh, in place. So in short, you know, the company has this ability to take this world-class asset and take it to a multiple of customers that are right there on our doorstep. As I mentioned, South Africa has an energy crisis. It needs a solution, and we believe we're the right commodity in the right place. We're the right commodity because we have an enormous land footprint, some uh, greater than 6,000 square kilometres. Um, we've already had gas tested and produced from an existing uh, pilot production cluster of five wells, and um, that gas has proven to be very high quality. 96 to 98 per cent measured methane, with a remainder of nitrogen, virtually no impurities. The geological setting is important as well. This gas is shallow. It sits in sandstones above the significant Karoo Basin coals, sealed and compartmentalised into reservoirs by um, existing dolerite sills and dikes. But it's important to know we do not frack, we do not intend to horizontally drill. This is not a CBM play, it is not a shale play. This will be very light touch to the environment as this project goes forward. We've been drilling in country for 10 years, so we've earned our stripes. 100% success rate. Gas in every hole, 44 so far, which has proven that we have these large shallow pay zones. I also make mention that uh, we have a number of tenements that are granted, they, they're the basis of our resources and reserves, but we have this further application for a further 2,383 square kilometres. We expect that application to be granted later this year and that will undoubtedly significantly grow our resource again. So that's the commodity. 
but it's in the right place. South Africa has an energy crisis. Many of you will be aware that South Africans enjoy load shedding every single day. You know, they lose power for up to five hours or more. Their coal-based, coal-fired power stations just simply aren't the solution. That cannot be improved. The coal is getting dirtier, darker, more distant. And um, that 85% of power generation that that coal-fired power base provided is in absolute decline. There has been some gas that South Africa's had access to from the Pande Tamane field off Mozambique, as I mentioned, came through that pipeline. And that has been a valid source of gas for 20 years. But it too is now in decline. It's where we are here. So uh, this is what we know as the gas cliff in South Africa. There must be an alternative that is found to help arrest their energy crisis. Sasol has said to customers down the Lilly pipeline they will be turning off the gas in 2026. And finally, there are no other obvious alternatives. Offshore, CBM, renewables, they're at least 10 years away. So the company's uh, development dynamics and plan to bring this world-class asset into production, I want to step out in four steps. The first of all, we're going to immediately drill to confirm gas field characteristics. And I'll go into that in more detail in the next slide. But that's really important because we want to establish flow rates and depletion curves that are highly economic. Um, success of uh, this testing will undoubtedly allow us to then go back and um, increase our gas resource and the assumptions in our models and gas reserves. Step number two will be to take these um, results and identify multiple optimal development sites, targeting the highest flow rates near pipelines, power stations, refineries and transmissions networks. And that, that will add to the, the really high commercial economics of each of these pilots uh, and then ultimately very large production fields that we plan. We, we indeed at step three have an existing uh, joint venture with um, the Industrial Development Corporation, the government-backed investment arm. Um, that is to develop immediately, and that is underway, a micro LNG plant proof of concept at our Amersford site. That is where we have five existing uh, production wells in a cluster. We're adding to that cluster in this joint venture, taking it to approximately 20 wells, and um, we expect that to, uh, to be in production in 2025. And here you can see an example of the type of micro LNG trains that we expect to bring to site and we can modulize and scale up. Uh, so beyond 20 wells, we can, we can simply scale as we want to. Step number four, um, we announced late last year that the IDC, which is, a, I think, a function of the, the uh, imperative that is coming from the South African government, they must develop and they must meet this crisis. They've entered a joint venture with the company to develop South Africa's largest onshore LNG gas project. That envisages developing clusters to produce up to 50 megawatt equivalent of energy um, and then increasing to 500 megawatt of energy equivalent. Um, the fiscal terms of that joint venture are extremely attractive to Kinetico. The IDC um, in stage 150 megawatts is committed to provide 60% of the cash equity for which it will only receive 30% of the joint venture interest. We also have um, an expanded option to take the uh, production clusters to 1.5 gigawatts of energy into the future. I mentioned previously um, our Im imminent exploration program, probably the most exciting that the company's ever undertaken, um, that is about to commence. Certainly uh, later in Q2 is our expectation, and that is to drill five production appraisal wells um, in southern fields of our tenure on exploration right 271 and 270. Again, they are to achieve um, extended flow rate and depletion curve testing, not for days, but for months. So with success here, we'll prove to the world that we have a, an absolutely world-class onshore gas basin that can produce gas um, in this unique shallow geology. It is unique. Those wells, to give you some idea, will cost less than 400,000 USD a well. And in thinking about how we develop 
these clusters. And as you can see here, we envisage successful drilling to father a 100-well cluster right next to that Majuba power station. We can take our gas uh, simply across to there. Um, there are multiple other South African partners who we're talking to strategically to help fund these endeavours beyond the IDC. So really just uh, a bit about our, what we consider our clear pathway to value in the next year. Um, from sort of Q3 2024 onwards, we just want to set out a number of milestones and news flow events that we expect to positively impact the valuation of the market. They, of course, are the uh, flow rate and depletion testing results, um, and they will start rolling out, we would, we would think, from um, August and September on an ongoing basis. That excites us because it can increase our resource, which we always want to do, but much more so because of the relationship with the IDC, we absolutely think we can significantly increase our ga gas reserve, and that, that road to becoming a, uh, a, a serious gas reserve, our ambition is well over one TCF of gas, will we'll put, probably put us in the top five onshore gas projects on the planet. We are seeking a production right, that's underway, um, and we expect that to be granted in early 2025, which primes us to start producing gas and making money. We want to remain a focus on delivering on the, um, the bigger vision we have with the IDC, and formalise the term sheet, and that will enable us to start operations on delivering the 50 megawatt um, vision that we have with them. And of course, um, we're introducing the story here with potentially uh, a view to listing on the UK. Just really quickly on our capital structure, we are listed on the Australian Stock Exchange. Um, there we are, we have approximately 1.348 billion shares on issue, a market cap in Australia of $100 million. We have some unlisted options. Um, they're in the hands of management and directors as incentives. Um, probably really importantly is our ownership. We own 100% of the project in South Africa, um, but we absolutely maintain our black economic empowerment compliance uh, currently at over 30%. And what has um, assisted that and it is growing is, um, is our ability to attract sophisticated South African institutions and investors that currently hold about 14% of the company. So look, just in closing, um, this is our team and management. Um, it's a very experienced team. As I said, um, we've been delivering exploration success for over a decade in South Africa, so we believe we know what we're doing. And we're absolutely focused on bringing this massive onshore gas resource um, and energy solution to the people of South Africa. Thank you very much. Thank you.